Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 15th of May 2020. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be back for today's reading. I was ill for yesterday's. I wasn't feeling so well from Monday evening. So I'm really happy to be back and feeling better. This is the Shadowscapes Tarot. So let's have a look at what these cards want you to be aware of. These readings are for all signs of the zodiac, they're for everyone who watches. I just tune in and ask the cards, what is Friday the 15th about and what do you have to say? So we've got the Seven of Wands, the Four of Wands, great, and the Four of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands you can see is conflict. We've got this fox mother protecting her cubs, and we've got this badger type thing going after the fox. Whether the badger is a real threat to the little fox kids up here or not, I'm not sure. But um, there's certainly conflict. So two different priorities, crossing and hitting. Yeah, the Seven of Wands is about Having that in your life and trying to find a way through, pushing through negativity so you can get to a place of feeling positive. And rather than look externally or to get that sense today, don't look for it in other people. It comes from within. The Four of Wands is 11-11 in the regular tarot. It's the most positive card in the deck. Here we've got the sun. The sun is the center of our solar system. It's the happiest, most important luminary in the sky. And here this energy really comes across with this kind of party of unicorn deer running around and the fairies joining them and the flowers. So it's a wedding. It's a celebration. It's really enjoying your life and being happy with where you are sharing that with other people and spreading the love, spreading the joy. Finally, the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to things too tightly and becoming miserly or becoming too rigid in your thinking. I don't want to change my routine, thank you very much, even though it is healthier or I don't like this job, but I've had it for 20 years now, so why should I change? I know this one at least. I know it's boring, but you know. So that's the kind of situation where you just get stuck if you feel that what you've got isn't ideal, but you stick with it because you're afraid of finances or you're afraid of the other opportunities that may or may not come. So altogether, we've got this at the center. So we've got happiness and celebration with other people. And then on either side, we have cards that are kind of complicated. So the conflict can be resolved by connecting with other people. Yeah, and communicating what it is you want and getting on the same page as other people and celebrating that you can do things together, that you can cooperate. And that also goes against the Four of Pentacles, which is tends to be very insular. Yeah, so you're able to overcome conflict and kind of going around in circles with other people. You're able to actually get somewhere today. So if you've got someone in your life who's who it's difficult to communicate with and you don't feel like you're getting your point across or you're not making that other person understand, then first of all, realize that you're powerless over people, places, and things. You can tell other people your wisdom and you can um, guide other people. But really, if that person doesn't want to be guided, you're just wasting your breath. And today there's an opening because both of these are so extreme. So you can see through all the conflict and all the kind of 
scraping for any job that you may have and thinking like, oh, in this economy, you're lucky to have any job. Don't complain about not liking your job. That may be true for other people. That is not true for you. It doesn't matter what the economy is. Money is an energy. It comes and goes. And if you put it on a pedestal or you think it's more important or the most important thing in your life, it's going to run away from you because it doesn't want to be like this. If you squeeze the life out of something and trap it, it's got no other chance but to escape. So you're able to see through that and your own tendency to be rigid. You become open-minded today and willing to put your differences aside for the greater good. Wow, that sounds super optimistic. Yeah. Seven, four, four. Seven and four is 11. And another four is 16. 15, rather. Yeah. One and five is six. And six is a temporary opportunity. And the four of ones usually is also a doorway. You can see a doorway here. I mean, not really. A doorway is usually, you know, a proper arch. In the four of ones, it looks like a digital clock, 11, and then the colon in the middle, 11. And that's a great vibration. 11, 11 is about you are independent. You can do something that is of great service to other people. Excuse me, 11 in numerology itself is being of service. So 11, 11 means that your service and your ability to kind of take control and shine your light on the world. That's what opens doors of opportunity. It melts away conflicts and blocks in communication between you and other people. And mainly because other people aren't going to be as closed minded or resistant as they usually are. So something may distract people and may cause them to react differently. And also you yourself are gonna find it much easier to shift gears in terms of your thinking and say, okay, this didn't work out instead of continuing to invest energy and just getting super frustrated with it. We're gonna shift gears into something else that does work. Yeah, rather than creating a lot of conflict. So it's kind of circular. So I don't think you need to isolate yourself. You don't need to worry about finances and work, life purpose. All of that is kind of jumbled today. And the best thing to do is to enjoy the moments that you do have and that are clear and positive and that feel like a celebration or a breakthrough with other people. You're finally on the same page or you're finally getting the new new project started, whatever it may be. This is an opportunity to bring together energies that would usually clash very strongly. So it's a temporary window that can be of service to you and to other people. So I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. You can order your reading on the website. I'm running a discount at the moment. Have a look. If you like this video, then please hit subscribe and share the video online. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.